The marine layer, a staple of our summer weather here in Southern California. Yeah, it goes by many names. Did you know this here? May Gray, June Gloom, and my favorite this month, Foggest. I like that. <laughs> that but one I, I didn't know. <laughs> but are these clouds suddenly disappearing? NBC4 meteorologist Anthony Yannis is here to help us clear up the fog. Anthony. Y yes, I'm here for you, and let's do that. Now, if you've lived here long enough, you know what it's like to go to bed with clear skies and wake up uh, with the skies looking like this in the morning. It can be a mild nuisance like this morning or can cut visibilities to almost zero, making for a difficult ride to work. But the marine layer also plays an important role with vegetation and fires, and that role is changing. On an open field in Santa Barbara, UCSB professors Dar Roberts and Mac Moritz check their weather station recording equipment. These instruments record temperatures, winds, humidity, and stratus clouds, or what we usually call them, the marine layer. Using similar weather stations in Santa Monica, Burbank, and Santa Ana, the pair made a startling discovery. Since 1970, our Southern California marine layer has decreased by 25 to 50%. Cloud bases have risen 150 to 300 feet, and the marine layer is clearing earlier in the day. And this has led to another finding. This is the first time we really have some evidence to say that cloud shading does impact the uh, timing of the start of the fire season. The problem with a shrinking marine layer is you get more sunshine. More sunshine leads to more evaporation. So all of this brush that you see here, it dries out earlier in the summer. So if there is a fire, it can start faster and it also can spread quickly. The data indicate that on, um, in areas where there has been a reduction in cloud cover, that you actually see an increasing area burn. But the question is why? The study shows two elements are most likely to blame. One is global climate change, it's warming. And so as areas become warmer, it just, it's harder to make a cloud. The other thing is urbanization. And so what urban environments do is they trap heat, right? This is called the urban heat island effect. And so areas that are highly urbanized tend to be warmer and that does the same basic thing. So the warmer an area is, the more difficult it is for something like a, um, a, um, a marine layer to form. But wildfire behavior is extremely complicated to explain. While the marine layer is having an effect on an earlier fire season, it's hard to determine by how much. So you have ignition patterns, you have winds, right? And you have topography. Yeah, it's, it's very complex. And so it's hard to tease out just how important this, this little bit of it is. But the data shows it is playing a role. Can anything be done? We recognize that climate change is happening and, and more and more we're realizing that you know, even in the best case scenario where we can change our CO2 emissions and prevent the worst from happening, we're going to have to adapt. And Los Angeles is actually doing a pretty good job adapting to the future. We have the Million Trees Project. We've been changing roofing materials, making them more reflective, and some of our roads are made of a reflective surface. So all of this is done to keep the temperatures cooler.